Hello guys, I'm Elf, Elf Night Gaming, and I'm back on my very cluttered bench again today with the Baofeng UVB5 HT, this radio here. I'm going about two years this radio, I hadn't even changed the battery on it, but that's not what I'm going to talk about here in this video. I'm going to talk about this wire I have here that I've put together for the sole purpose of interfacing to the sound card in my one of my laptops. Um, <coughs> purpose that I built this cable was for the Zello app which you can get for Android or iPhone or the PC or whichever and I've noticed that people that are doing this are shotgunning the wire straight from the radio into the computer um, <clears throat> that will work but you run this risk of damaging either your radio or your computer by doing that depending on voltage and their impedance mismatch and etc so what I've done to try to protect from that is I have built an isolation cable now if you don't have if you want to connect you know okay if you want to connect this to your computer you're gonna to have to have the means to get into the 2.5 and 3.5 mil plug here I happen to have this end here that came with the speaker mic deal hold on I have one here with this this arrangement here that you get with these Bofung radios that actually came with this radio here I'm never going to use this thing as it sits but I will use this part there now that keep in mind that this wire is very thin it's that braided uh, vinyl not vinyl um, that braided enameled stuff found in cheaper headphones in fact you can probably see it right there. there's a blue a red a green and a gold over here anyway that's coming in and this is bi-directional the dot is denoting a primary I'm I'm thinking but I, I think this is going to be a one-to-one -one, so it really doesn't matter but anyway on here big one is the mic little one is the speaker uh, the pinout I can't remember the exact TRS I can't remember the actual TRS pinout tip ring sleep out but those are online just look up the pinouts for Balfong uh, or Kenwood it's the same for Kenwood and you'll get, you know, speaker, mic, PTL, all that matter. And this is designed to work with Vox. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we're going into the isolation transformers, and we're coming back out on this side. Now, this side here, the green and the bear is the speaker. This one over here is the microphone. So we're going to trace the speaker back. It's going to go in and then it's going to come back out on the other side. It's going to go down this white cable. The white cable terminates into this. This goes into the computer's microphone jack and in the other one it's green. I wired them like that on purpose so it's easy. That goes into the speaker jack. The computer is running the Zello PC app. It's all set up. There are tutorials online on how to set up Zello to detect Vox and set the levels and all that. I'm not going into that with this video because that's going to require me going back and forth from the bench to the computer and all that. And I've got other things to do today besides running back and forth. Your radio will also need to be programmed for Vox mode. Um, most FRS radios, you can turn that on and off in a menu with Baofeng radios and the ham radios and commercial radios. You got to go in software. Um, if you got it in VFO mode, you probably have your menu unlocked. You could set it in there in one of these. Um, and that will work with this. It'll work with the uh, DMR, of course. It'll work with the cheap Balfung, the GT1s, 888s. It'll work with the Woshans. If you have the right accessory connector, 
it'll work with HT 1250s these radios here as long as you have the box set up um, box sensitivity is kind of important because that's going to determine whether your radio keys up what it senses or not um, I have this one set to 9 so it doesn't really drop out as often um, anything really below 6 is kind of useless it will drop out so I don't use that um, it will fit in this charger on huh. it interesting anyway the isolation transformers will help protect I know that the best way to do this is to try to get the flat audio out of a radio now that would be easier with a mobile radio where you might have a tap for it on the back or pop the top and be able to find it and HT is a little more difficult to get flat audio out of however they do make <coughs> excuse me they do make attenuation cables that will take that 30 db down to zero and etc etc and with that said they also make audio isolation balance for these uh cables too now i i didn't feel the need to go dig one out or order one and wait on it i just figured well you know i've already got the parts i could just build one you know it's easier that way and if you want to build one it's very simple audio isolation transformers almost always have four pins two per coil this two coils primary and secondary and they're, they're not usually not center tap though they do have some that are and places to find them I found that fax modems will have them telephone equipment will have them I got those off of this board which is a Toshiba MINU2 this is a card that goes came out of a Toshiba telephone system and you can see where I desoldered those there's some more still on here I have another one here that come off of this board and I've got several of these boards so I've got plenty of them any kind of telephone equipment like that commercial stuff audio equipment um, old phone patches you know things like that you might have laying around your shack or your shop you could easily find an audio isolation transformer out of um, just make sure that they're at least one-to-one -one. Um, and the main purpose is to isolate any transient voltages that might come up and down these lines from the computer or from the radio when the radios and computers are operating and that will save your equipment down the road um, I've burned up radios and computers by not isolating lines and it gets expensive real quick so just something to keep in mind um, when messing about with interfacing these things together um, yeah and that's that's about all I have to say I mean it's 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 a quick and dirty way to do it it's not exactly the 100% right way to do it, but it is quick and dirty and it does work. Um, and it's a lot safer than just shotgunning this thing into the computer like a lot of people have been doing. And I know you might say, oh, well, it's a $30 radio. Well, your laptop might cost $1,000. So can you risk tearing up the laptop or, you know, over the radio? It's kind of a. A flip of a coin which one gets hurt more if something happens so better to be safe than sorry build one buy one isolation cables um, audio isolation stuff definitely a go um, and I'm Elf with ElfNet Gaming and if you like the video leave a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already all that stuff I also have a vidme channel I have a I think I have a patreon page I'm not sure I can't remember anymore um, and expect more videos in the future um, comments uh, leave them below thoughts ideas uh, improvements all that's welcome However, negative comments and trolling is not welcome, of course. 
I try to keep everything family friendly here and, and uh, kind of on the on par so and I try not to offend anyone either so I apologize if I have um, but until then it's the end of the video end of this video anyway until then I will see you in the next video